It is day two, it is game day, and we gotta go eat some breakfast. Alright, so you guys know me by now. I have to get my coffee fixed. It takes a little while when you have to push it. Constantly. But yeah, always drink coffee. It's something that's always with me at games. So I just got my coffee fixed for the game. Little fun fact for you guys, they have us and Michigan in the same hotel. So you can bet those elevator rides are fun as hell. Yup, yup, yup. Get it, boys. Get it. Get it. Time to eat. So, just got back to the hotel. We ended up losing 2 1. And it's important for me to show you guys this side of things because it's not all you know, dandy and all roses. Um, it's tough. It's really tough. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not happy about it. Uh, but, I, I'm not gonna let it stop me. You know, uh, if soccer's taught me anything, it's taught me that you need to just be vicious in the way that you handle things, in the way that you handle business. You have to work hard. So, I wish things could have been different, but, I can at least hold my head up high knowing that I gave everything that I had to this program. I gave everything I had to my teammates, to the coaches, and it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that this is the way it ends, but I think it's important that you guys see the raw emotion of things. You know, I'm angry. I'm, I'm upset. You know, I, I cried in the locker room after realizing that this is it for me. But it's time to uh, you gotta move on. No matter how you're feeling, how upset you are, you need to just keep your emotions in control. You always need to be smart about the way you approach things. Keep your emotions in check. Make smart decisions, okay? Because the decisions that you make when you're upset, they can come back and haunt you. So always hold everything you do, all the actions that you have with dignity and respect. That's the most important thing. No matter what you do, always have dignity and always have respect. It is 7.45. Just got back to the apartment. I hope you guys have enjoyed my videos for this past weekend. Get to see a little bit of the inside of what goes on when you're preparing for a Big Ten tournament. I can't believe that the season's over. I can't believe that my college career is over. I personally want to thank everybody that had to do with me coming to Rutgers and my experience here at Rutgers. I want to thank all my teammates, all the coaches, all the trainers, and the strength and conditioning coaches. You guys have made my experience here unforgettable and an amazing time. Going forward, it's time for me to experience new things. It's time for me to grow as a person. It's time for me to grow as an individual. You know, I'm ready to take on new challenges, you know, set out on new endeavors, and I'm going to keep you guys updated along the way. So stay tuned and look out for me.